Hi, and welcome to White Box Learning. In this short video, we will be demonstrating the Teacher Control Center setup process and its many features. First, simply go to www.whiteboxlearning.com. Then, log in here. This is where you will enter your email address and your password that you should have already received during the account setup process. Once you have successfully logged into your Teacher Control Center, click the Manage tab. Then click Class Planner. Whether you are setting up your first class period or adding new periods and students, click Add Another Period. Give the new period a name or number and then enter the number of students in that class period. Entering the period start and end time is optional. Please click Save when finished. You will see here that period 7 was added and 23 student IDs are now ready to be issued. Next, click Specifications. Here you can create and save your own custom specifications, as many as you would like, to add to each STEM application. Simply click the application for which you would like to create new specs. Then, to save time, populate the spec inputs with one of our preset specification tables. Give your new specs a name. Then, if you are connected as friends with another teacher or are part of a multi school or district license, you have the option of selecting Share with District. So, as other teachers adopt these new specs, your students will be able to engineer and compete. 24-7 with other students across the entire district. Next, simply change the spec values as you desire and please make sure you save your new specs. Here you will see the new specifications that you just created. Now click Activity Planner. Then click Add Another Activity and follow the prompts. In the drop-down menus, select Class Period, STEM Application, Curriculum Level, you have a choice of middle or high school standards-based content, then Specification Choice. Here you can select one of our pre-established set of specs as suggested in our pacing guides, or you can select the specs you just created. You can see here where the Green Car 2.0 STEM application, middle school content, and spring competition specs have been assigned to period 7. Continue on, following the same process to add new periods and students with the class planner, and then add STEM applications, content level, and specs in the activity planner. Here you may notice I am adding the high school content to the Structures 2.0 STEM application in the same period 7. It is easy to add and take away STEM applications, create new engineering specifications on the fly, and adjust the level of curriculum to meet and challenge the various levels of my students. In the Students section, I can see all of my class periods, the various STEM applications applied, and the student IDs associated with each class period. Before issuing these IDs to your students, and so that you can easily track student progress, please enter your student names here, next to each alphanumeric ID. Jot down a student ID for later use, and also please make note of your group ID. A unique student ID is given to each student, whereas all students will use the same group ID which identifies them as a part of your classroom. In the Teaching Aids tab, you will find pacing guides that offer classroom implementation suggestions. All the while, we are reporting for you in real time, content reviewed, student time on task, and quiz course. Then, we report the link between the student's content knowledge and their design solutions. 
in other words, between their effort and their performance. At any time, I can click on an individual student to drill down for more precise detail. One very important purpose of these measures is to help teachers recognize when to intervene in order to improve the learning process. So, the White Box Learning Framework provides a mechanism for true formative assessment, real-time, actionable feedback for students and teachers. Now you can log out of your Teacher Control Center, log back into www.whiteboxlearning.com, and then log in to one of the STEM applications using the student ID and group ID you jotted down earlier. The user interface is the same for all of our STEM applications. Please see our website for individual videos that review each STEM application. Also, please inform your students that in each STEM application, numerous tutorials are placed throughout the research materials that will show them how to use the various engineering and analysis tools. This concludes our Teacher Control Center demonstration video. As always, if you have any questions or need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you and have a great day.